Shalom, shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, all glory, and all honor be unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Hakurash. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone who rule well. Salutations to the hopefully elect out there pushing this word of truth, sincerity, and indeed your brother Chapataza from the great millstone Chicago branch coming at you with another quick, Lord willing, edifying lesson. Just want to talk about the incident that happened in New York. Uh, I believe it was earlier today. Uh, it may have been yesterday, whatever. But, uh, you know, it's a lot of conflicting reports. You know, stories change. And it just, there's a lot of holes in it. There's a lot of things that don't add up, of course. Yeah. And um, it just looks like it's just one of those false flags that the powers that be, they carry out from time to time. Because as we all know, there is a hidden agenda at hand, you know. It just doesn't add up that some guy with guns and a gas mask just goes crazy. And in these days and times, you have to be weary of what you see on the news. You know, there's a saying, it says, believe none of what you hear and half of what you see. There's crisis actors carrying out stage events all the time, reoccurringly. And that's just what this looks like. So you can't really believe what mainstream media is pushing down your throat. Nine times out of 10, if mainstream media is constantly replaying an event, it's cause it's staged and there's, there's an agenda that's at hand. And where every, for every so-called attack, they attack your gun rights. They want further and further laws on gun control. All right, they want to control who has guns and who doesn't. They want to impede on this country's second amendment. And ultimately they want to strip the American people of their guns that they can fully implement their new world order agenda with less pushback, with as much with the least amount of resistance as possible. That's what they want to do. This is why countries like Australia can be locked down in such a draconian way. This is why countries like uh, China, that whole thing going on in Shanghai, you got residents in high rise buildings screaming because they're hungry, screaming because they've been locked down. Got, you got people screaming because their freedom has been stripped away from them. Why is that? Because they don't have any guns. This is why when the judgment, when the agenda finally, finally, finally touches America, when they try to fully implement that draconian measure, to complete their new world order, all hell, chaos, and madness is gonna break loose in America. And you better believe they've already made plans for that. But nonetheless, um, bringing out this scripture, the book of Psalms chapter 64 and verse five, I believe it's Psalms 64 and five. It says they encourage themselves in an evil matter they commune of laying snares privily and they say who shall see them and every one of these false flag attacks every one of these staged events it's them privily laying a snare it's them searching out an evil matter because you better believe more and more legislation is coming that's gonna criminalize guns that's gonna lead to more stricter gun laws so that more and more of your average citizen will not have access to buying firearms, to owning and operating a firearm, and even more so owning and operating certain firearms. And that's gonna cause these patriotic Americans to really lose it. See, these people in these 
big cities, they don't know what the hell's going on. They're too busy occupied in vanity, chasing the dream, more so trying to survive, partying and bullshitting. These people could really care less what's going on in the world around them. And it's not really gonna hit them until it hits them. And by that time, it's gonna be too late. But that's why we, the men of the Lord of Great Millstone and them that preach like doctrine, this is our job to blow the trumpet, to raise awareness and to keep an eye on things, to report on things and filter everything via the Holy Spirit because this devil is making moves. America is getting ready to fall. And that's why this devil, he's doing what he's doing, man. The scriptures say uh, 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 in Revelation, the 12th chapter, the devil has come down upon you having great wrath because he knoweth that he has but a short time. This place is finished, man. So expect more and more attacks. Expect more and more stricter gun laws. Expect more and more uh, uh, draconian measures. Expect more and more security. Expect more and more officers patrolling people. Expect more and more invasion of privacy. Expect more and more trampling of your constitutional rights, so-called. Expect more of this, man, because it's on the way. But uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Hope this was edifying. All praises, glory, and honor be unto you. How about you? How about you? Shalom and the Baba Ball.